Right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakak Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere icons, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out, putting your trust, your faith, your belief, and everything that you consist of in Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. This week's lesson, this is our response video. You know what I'm saying? It's called, um, this is a response video, um, must watch. Persecution is coming. You know, yeah, persecution is coming. You know, you can have the elite banking family trying to come up against the man of the Lord. Why is persecution coming? Because we're teaching the truth, man. In America, you know what I'm saying? And throughout the four corners of the earth is, is against the truth, man. Okay? That's why persecution is coming. Persecution came against the Lord, man. But at the same time, this is the end all, be it all. This is the last time we're going to be, this is the last time they're going to be able to shoot us down. This is the last time they're going to be able to lie on us. This is the last time they're going to be able to say with, with the suspect of this, that, and the third. This is the last time they'll be able to hang us. You know, this is the last time they'll be able to plant drugs on us. This is the last time they'll be able to um, stop you while you're walking down the street. Saying, where are you going? So this is the end all, be it all. Yeah, persecution is coming, but guess what? Deliverance is coming too. From the God of the Bible. See, the one thing about it, they don't know. They're persecuting us, but the God of the Bible is going to persecute them, man. The God of the Bible is going to persecute you so-called white people, man. So enough with the elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, so forth and so on. So yeah, persecution is coming for the men of the Lord. But at the same time, you have Bashim Yahusha, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, is going to persecute you crackers, man. Just remember that. So these are some scriptures through the spirit of your house, but you know, I'm trying to comfort our people in the times that we're living in. Yeah, persecution is going to come, but fear not, man. Don't fear what's going to come. Nope. Let's get right into it. Let's go into the book of Jeremiah. This is um, GMS on the go before work. I like to do something right before I hit the, um, hit the job site or whatever, the slave ship, or whatever you want to call it. For you have, but you know, I'm trying to edify. Edify the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Remember, yeah, persecution is going to come, but deliverance is also going to come too, okay? The same people that's persecuting us, the God of the Bible is going to persecute them. Just remember that, brothers. So this is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19. And they shall fight against thee. Who's going to fight against us? Our enemies, man, the Heavenly Father's enemies, man. These heathen nations, man, starting off with you so-called white people, right? And you can put two-thirds in there, too, because they're going to try to fight tooth and nail, you know what I'm saying, the hand and so on, to the enemy, too, man. Because they're working for the enemy. But, but the God of the Bible is going to persecute their asses, too. This is Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 19. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. Who, who is this speaking? This is the Heavenly Father speaking to all our enemies, man, all you heathens, man, and two-thirds. Y'all going to come and fight against us. You know what I'm saying? Persecution is going to come, but the scripture said, y'all are going to fail, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like Pharaoh, he persecuted the children of Israel. He fell. You know what I'm saying? Just like Caesar, he persecuted the children of Israel. He fell. You know what I'm saying? Just like who? Just like who else? Um, um, just like Nimrod, he persecuted the children of Israel, but guess what? He fell. You know? All these ancient kingdoms fell trying to persecute the Hebrew Israelites, right? So Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to deliver thee. So yeah, persecution is going to come, but guess what? Deliverance is going to come too. See, they don't even know. See, you so-called white people, you rough shots, you get this. Y'all don't even really know what you get ready to um, bark into, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what you headed towards, man. You had it, see the, the days and days, you know what I'm saying, that we're getting closer and closer to are the days of your death and destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? The pen and destruction of America is getting closer and closer each and every day. You know what I'm saying? That passes by, man. So yeah, persecution is gonna come, but the end of you reigning and ruling the earth is coming too, man. Just remember that. Persecution is coming, but the end of the so-called white man ruling the whole planet Earth and wickedness, because that's what you've been running the earth with. Wickedness is coming to an end too. What did the last part of that scripture say? For I am with thee. You have Bashim Yahweh Shai. You brothers got to know that, man. Hold fast. When persecution come, hey, don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Let your faith kick in. You know what I'm 
what I'm saying? Let your hope kick in. You have by Shemir Shai said he's going to deliver us, man. But our faith will be tested, man. Our faith will be tried, man. You have by Shemir Shai is looking for the real deal. Just remember that. For I am with thee, saith the Lord. You have by Shemir Shai to deliver thee. See, the, the so-called white man, he wasn't never set up, you know what I'm saying, to be, to do any good for us, man. He was set up to be a whipping stick for us for going off, man. But the God of the Bible said, yo, I'm going to be with you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. So if this devil come in like a flood, you have a bunch of going to lift up a standard on this dude. So some of us going to get that spiritual power, man. And that's a wrap for you heathens, man. Some of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that's out there preaching the word, out there on the highways and byways, when the, when the enemy come in like a flood, the guy of the Bible is going to lift up a standard against you devils, man. Against you heathens. And that's spiritual power, man. And it seems far-fetched in this day and time that we're living in. But you make all the movies about men having spiritual power. What makes you think that it really can't happen, man? All things are possible where you have by Shemiah Rashad. All things, man. So this is Jeremiah chapter 39. Verse 17. But I will deliver thee in that day when all hell break loose. In the time of Jacob's trouble. You know? But I will deliver thee. Jeremiah chapter 39 verse 17. But I will deliver thee in that day. Saith the Lord. Yehovah Shem Yahushai. And thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. You know what I'm saying? So see the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the elite banking families, man. You know what I'm saying? They the ones that run the earth, man. They the ones that uh, make the rules, okay? They the ones that's going to come up against the men of the Lord, man. They're going to send their goons, man. But you, you don't know that you have Bashim Abishai got multiple, multiple angels, you know what I'm saying, watching us, protecting us, man. And you have Bashim Abishai going to do some damage, man. He's going to eradicate you devils soon come, man. Jeremiah chapter 39, verse 17. But I will deliver thee in that day when the rough child, when the rough child, when the girl troops try to kick in your door. You end up in a concentration camp. There's many accounts of the servants of the Lord being delivered, man, from different situations, man. Daniel in the lion's den. Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. King David, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, many situations that the prophets was faced with. Just like today, man. Ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing different. Ain't nothing new up under the sun. So the Lord told his servants what? Jeremiah chapter 39, verse 17. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. See, the men of the Lord are going to be delivered from two thirds and you heathens, man. Starting up with you so called white people, right? You know? For I will surely deliver thee, for thou shalt not fall by the sword, any killer instrument, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me. Said the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that's one thing we got to continue to do. Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Abba Ratazah, man. Continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. We got to keep hope, man. We got to keep hope alive. You heard that saying, keep hope alive? But we got to keep hope alive. Keep trusting Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You know, we got to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our help, man. Our buckler, our shield. So that's what we, that's what we have been groomed to, um, to believe in, man. The whole time, you have Bashim Yahushua is preparing us, man, for this great day that's coming, man. For this great dreadful day that's coming. This is Psalm chapter 146 and 5. Happy is he that have Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, power of Jacob, for his help. See, that's who we got to help us, man. The power of Jacob. You know what I'm saying? The God of the heavens and the earth, he's on our side, man. Okay? So, so we happy, man. We ain't fearing nothing. You know, we ain't fearing nothing. Every, anything that's going to happen is supposed to happen anyway, man. We can't stop the inevitable. You know what I'm saying? The things that's going to come upon us, we can't stop them. Why? Because it's already written, man. Only thing we can do is pray to your high, but you know, shot for more strength, and more courage, and more faith when it do come. Okay? Psalm chapter 146 and 5, once again. Happy is, happy is he that have... The power of Jacob, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Wahab Rakakwadash, for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord, his power, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that there is, the Salakia, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever. 
know what I'm saying? So your how about Shamal Shai is going to protect his service, man. You're not just going to be able to just do whatever you think you're going to do to him, man. It's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So this is a response video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, persecution is going to come. But guess what? At the same time, your how about Shamal Shai is going to... Um, Gonna bring healing, man, and blessings, man, and protection and deliverance, man. I'm gonna read one more and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Still in the book of Psalms. And this is just part two. I'm gonna make another one, Lord's willing. When I do get all work, I'll write this out. This is Psalms chapter 46, verse 11. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, the Lord of armies, is with us. The power of Jacob is our refuge. And what's a refuge? A place of hiding. You know what I'm saying? The Lord of armies, man, is with us, man. Yeah, you you healers, you rock showers, yeah, y'all got armies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got um, men, you know what I'm saying? Troops or whatever. But guess what? The God of armies, man, okay? The Lord of hosts is going to come back, you know what I'm saying? And deliver the elect of the nation of Israel out of all their troubles. And you can't handle that. So-called white man, you ain't gonna be able to do a damn thing about that. You know what I'm saying? Your time of ruling the earth and wickedness is almost up, man. Okay? You're gonna persecute the man of the Lord, but then right after that, you have Bashim Yam Shai's gonna persecute you bitches, man. Remember that, man. Every last one of y'all, you Rothschilds, you Gettys, you Bloombergs, you know what I'm saying? You Rockefellers, you Bushes, so forth and so on. All your elite banking families from, from the Edomite nation and these other heathen nations, the God of the Bible is gonna persecute you soon, come. Just remember that. Psalm chapter 46, verse 11. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, power of hosts, is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. So, yeah, this is just a quick response video through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh. Yeah, persecution is going to come, but then Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, is going to persecute our enemies. Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Shai, Waha, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessing to all you sincere actors, man. Putting your trust in your house by Shimmy I was shy. Regardless of people here for a bit, no matter how hard the road seems like it's going to get, or how hard the road may get, man. Put your trust in your house by Shimmy I was shy. And pray that he'll deliver you, man. You know what I'm saying? When persecution do come, Shalom.